Welcome to Texas. It actually looks like another planet out here right now. First of all, they said, come to Texas and build a truck. It'll be fun. <laughs> We're back here in Midland, Odessa, Texas. We're getting it with Chris Miller, the stone truck guy. Every single stone here has been hammered by hand. So the stone truck is in there. We're gonna get a waterfall coming out of the bed of that. Here's where we're at today. It's day three. We've accomplished a lot. So this is awesome. Every time you build a pond, even if you think you know everybody in the neighborhood, you get to know everybody in the neighborhood when something like this gets done. Hi, I'm Chris Miller. I'm from uh, Callis, Vermont. Uh, my company is Chris Miller Studio. I'm a sculptor. And we're here in West Texas from Odessa at the Moore Ranch where we've done this lovely stone truck replica of his 1951 Ford. This project started when my client Clay Moore called me in Vermont, had seen pictures of other trucks I've done on Facebook, and was planning this man cave that he's building here and was interested in doing a replica of his particular truck. So I flew down, uh, had a meeting with him and his wife, Sarah. They took me to the site, and at this, at this time, this was just a vacant lot, and described what he was going to do of a circular driveway, and he wanted this to be the centerpiece for his man cave where his car collection is. So went back to Vermont, started working on it. I photographed his truck when I was here, took measurements, downloaded schematics, got all the measurements correct, went home, and I made the front grille, hubcaps, the railings, the fenders, the wheels, all that stuff I made ahead of time in Vermont. Took about two months, put together about 12 pallets of dimensional granite blocks, loaded it all on a semi in Barrie, Vermont, shipped it down to West Texas here. It took uh, four and a half days to drive here, 47,000 pounds. We arrived here in Texas. We hit the one in a lifetime blizzard here in West Texas. We couldn't get our tent, we couldn't get our forklift, we couldn't get our heaters, we couldn't get anything for a couple of days because it was no power in town. I'm in the biggest oil basin in the country, in the world maybe and you couldn't get gasoline or propane. It's kind of crazy. But we got started. So after I had gotten about two weeks in and I got up to the cab level, Aquascape came down from Chicago along with a whole team of Aquascape certified contractors from all over the country. And in a miraculous three days in a blizzard, put this thing together. I've, I've never seen a group work harder than that. All these tons of stone, all the liners, all the pumps, all the filters, all the plumbing. And this is not your average aquascape thing. They had to plumb up inside the truck, people sitting inside the truck doing all the plumbing, fitting everything together, putting the spillways together. It was quite an ordeal. I had done several trucks before this. First one I did with Tony Sargent, a certified aquascape contractor in Georgia, and I had never done an aquascape or a, a water feature at all. And we kind of scratched our heads for a while and figured out how to just plumb it together, and he worked really well with me. And it was really great to work with both him and all the different Aquascape people. I've collaborated with a lot of people on a lot of different sculptures. And a lot of times, the, the difficulty when you're collaborating with people is you've got to hold their hand the whole time. You've got to describe things to them. You've got to keep hovering over their shoulder. With Aquascape, I found out, and I found out having worked with other teams that were not Aquascape, it didn't work as well. All these guys and women that, that came down, they certify Aquascape contractors, they know what they're doing. They not only know how to work with other people. They're creating things from scratch all the time, so they have a real artistic vision. They have a, an artistic aesthetic. So that from a collaboration standpoint, I can sort of sit back. I say to Brian Helfrich, the lead uh, designer from Chicago, here's what I want to do, and uh, here's what I've done before, and here's what I'm thinking it should be, and then I could step back, go about my business, I don't have to hover over them, and everything gets done, everything falls into part. Everybody works like a well-oiled machine. They all know what they're doing. They're people working on the liner, people working on the plumbing, people working on the filters, and it all comes together very quickly. And none of it got in my way, and I didn't get in their way. It was the smoothest collaboration you could ever dream of. Love working with Aquascape. This particular truck is uh, number four of five I've done so far. There can be 10 in total, three of which have been done with Aquascape, and uh, the rest of them will all be done with Aquascape. And the process has been great because each time I've done them, I've learned a great deal about how to do it, do it more efficiently, how to work with different contractors and things. Like for instance, the, the frame, you can see underneath this truck, the first one had a solid foundation and then this one's up on pillars with a frame underneath it. And the one after this has a full frame so you can see under from all sides. And it's allowed a lot of the work to be done ahead of time in my shop in Vermont and then ship it down here and assemble it. So the efficiency has gotten a lot better. But like working with the Aquascape contractors, I kind of give them an idea of what I'm doing, and they come 
back with sort of a vision of how they would want to do it. And then we sit around at night and have beers after we're done and we talk about future projects. How would we do these things? And it's really great to work with these people that know their water features because Brian had this great idea, which I think I might implement in my next one, which might be a Jeep climbing a hill, where the water's not coming out of the vehicle. It's like the vehicle's crossing a stream. So it's going to be climbing up these rocks and he's saying, we'll get there ahead of time. We'll lay a rubber liner underneath the entire thing and then build the rocks ahead of time, build the truck with the vehicle on top of that and have the water flowing underneath it like it's climbing a mountain and there's a stream coming through there. So having those creative ideas that I may have never even thought of, these aquascape contractors who know this stuff, they take my idea and then just build on it. And it's a wonderful creative, collaborative process. This particular truck is number four and my plan is to do 10 total, mostly because I'm 63 years old and it's really, really hard work. But I really like the water feature part of it because it adds a, uh, a moving dynamic to it. And the thing I didn't know when I started doing this was how well the water and the stone work together. So I'm really planning to do the rest of these and incorporate water features as I go along in all of them. Mostly because I would miss working with these aquascape people <laughs> because I've gotten to be friends with some of them and gotten to know and when I think about the next project, I really look forward to how I'm going to collaborate with them and how the process is going to go. I've gotten a lot of uh, inquiries. There's a 41 Willis Jeep outside of Houston that might come up next winter, I'm not sure. And I'm getting calls from dealerships and there may be something from Ford in Detroit that might be interested in some stuff. So who knows what the future is. They're going to be more complex, more intricate, more detailed. Because people now, they're coming to me and say, I want a 1953 pickup truck like the one you built there. And I say, I'm just not interested. I'm only going to do this many more in my life. And every one of them has got to be a challenge. Every one of them has got to be more detailed, more complex, harder, and of course, more fun. So one of the coolest things and the most rewarding parts of doing a project like this is the reaction from all the friends and neighbors and people that stop by. This project and other ones I've done, people drive by, they see the car, they stop, they wander in, all the neighbors want to come and be part of it, and their reaction is just incredible. They've never seen anything like this because there really isn't anything like this. They see it, and then they go online, they look it up, and then they come back a second time, they bring the rest of their family in, they bring their neighbors in, and we have people at some of these projects that come by four or five different times. The last one I did, people driving in from five or six different states in every direction to come and see the process and different aquascape contractors come in, they were passing by, they want to see this thing. And I get a lot of masons that come by and they say, I've been a mason for 45 years, I've never seen anything like this. Where do you get plans for something like that? And I'm like, no, no you don't get plans. You build it from scratch. They're all used to working from things, but they're just blown away at the creativity of some of the one-off kind of thing like this. So we get people in the trades, you know, when you're on a construction site like this, all the carpenters are coming over and all the different contractors and the people paving and the people, you know, suppliers and everything, they're coming in and they're just floored by this kind of thing. We're here at the Moore Ranch in Odessa, Texas, and we built this truck in February and we're back here now the following October. Clay Moore, our client, wanted to have an event with the antique vintage car collectors in his car club, the West Texas Street Rod Association. So he invited all of his car aficionado uh, collectors down and had a big barbecue and things. And uh, my partner and I flew down from Vermont because we wouldn't miss this as sort of the unveiling of it. I was looking forward to meeting here with Aquascape to have them come down and see this event as sort of the unveiling of it. And anybody that's interested, uh, that's been sort of interested in these stone trucks now that they've been on Facebook and they've been around, you can go to YouTube and the Aquascape channel and Facebook and just type in stone truck, Aquascape, Texas truck, anything like that. And you'll wander into these things. And there's videos of the construction of this, and it's fascinating. I mean, all the videos that they do are fascinating, but the way they did it from start, from before we even started with the snow on the ground and the machinery coming and everything. So there's like four or five different videos of how the thing went through the process and then a big reveal one, and now this one. So I'm looking forward to the future. There's gonna be five more trucks somewhere with water features in all of them. So follow along, stay tuned. There's gonna be more of this and uh, it's an incredibly cool process melding the sculpture and the water feature together as a collaboration. So follow along, hope to see you next time.